Startups and founders spend at least 21% of their time searching for the right leads. As well as that, nearly two thirds of businesses say finding the right leads is their biggest challenge when prospecting. So if you've ever felt overwhelmed or you find it difficult to find the right leads in bulk, this is the video for you. What we're gonna do today is look at how Lemlist Scrum Extension can help you scrape up to two and a half thousand leads from LinkedIn straight into your Lemlist campaign ready to prospect. You'll also be able to enrich them directly from the app and find about 80% of their deliverable emails. So all in one tool, bonus, super Super easy. This is how it works. Now, number one, obviously you're going to have to download the extension. Type in Lemnus Chrome extension, click on this here. And then what you do is just click download like a normal Chrome extension. What will happen is it will appear just appear like that. So make sure that you pin it to this particular section and you will see the Lemnus Chrome extension appearing here. That's what you need. Now, here's a familiar face. If we come onto a single LinkedIn profile, what will happen is when you click the extension up here, it will scrape all of the data for you. And then what you're able to do is you're able to push that person into a Lemnus campaign ready to prospect. So if you want to go one by one, and find people, you can do exactly that using the Chrome extension. But that's not what we want to do today. We want to do things at a much bigger scale. What I've created beforehand is this. What we're going to do is we're going to find the perfect persona, and that's going to be founders in companies with less than 10 employee headcount. And we're going to push them into one of these two campaigns. Now, the first campaign is to do with active LinkedIn users, and we're going to have a lead magnet email here. There's going to be a follow-up email, which is specific to this particular campaign, and there's going to be a breakup email as well. Now, this is going to be exactly the same as the other campaign, but this email and this email, they're going to be different. Then in the second one, we're going to have this campaign here, a follow-up email, which is different, and then the same break up email at the end as well. So three steps, super simple is what I'm trying to get across. Now, campaign one, like I said, focuses on the problem being that non-active LinkedIn users, the people that we're reaching out to, see 40% fewer opportunities than active LinkedIn users. How are company using LinkedIn to grow your network? Even when you post consistently, you never knew how your posts would perform until someone called Richard found LinkedIn's 2024 algorithm. Could I share it? This is the lead magnet. We start with the problem. We ask a question. We link the problem to the solution that we're solving. And then we offer a valuable resource in the value-based CTA. That is all you need. Less than 50 words, super valuable. And this is what we're going to test today. Now, in order to find that, what we need is we need people that are posting on LinkedIn that match our ICP. So founders in companies less than 10 employees that are sort of active on LinkedIn. The reason is because we focus on a problem here that they are active. So they do understand this sort of problem here. So they are likely thinking about posting on LinkedIn because they're already sort of starting to solve this problem because they are aware of this, but they're still unsure about how to grow the network properly. The posts aren't necessarily performing very well because so so many people's posts aren't performing very well. So the valuable resource is shining a light on how the algorithm actually works. And that should be interesting to them. How do I know it's going to be interesting to them? Well, I'm in a similar situation myself, but I found it super interesting when I saw this post and I really wanted the information. I even made a post about it. Anyway, this is the whole point. It's a valuable resource for the people we're reaching out to. So we need to find people that fit this kind of email campaign. That's what we're going to search for. And that's what we're going to filter. And we're going to import them in bulk. Now, the follow up email is me sharing the resource anyway. Then I carry on to say, if you're sure to create engaging content on LinkedIn, slightly a different problem to the first one. Perhaps I could share something else, the seven steps that tripled my followers to 25K last year, something that founders really, really want, something that is actually reasonable if they can follow these steps. Founders use our tool to post consistently without writer's block. So that's how it ties in. Either way, hope it's useful. Again, very, very soft, asking if it's okay to share a resource. I've already given them value. So I've already shared the initial value. So that's why I think that we might be able to just introduce the tool here so they get an idea. And then we hopefully get a reply from there. Is everyone going to reply? No, but is 5, 10, 15 people out of 100 going to reply? I hope so with the right targeting. Finally, to show you the last email, this is just one that I'm using now. I'm actually testing this myself, so you're seeing live how I'm testing it. I wanted to keep this consistent across the both campaigns because A, for time's sake, and B, because I wanted to have it as a sort of control, as a sort of test. I talk about the fact that they're likely a Canonly user. I then say that in order to reduce no-shows, Lemcal is what startups are switching to. I mentioned some of the metrics of the, the percentage reduction in no-shows that our first thousand users saw. It's all about a personal touch, which it is. It's about personalized booking pages. So when they see my own personalized booking page here. It's very convenient that I'm also reaching out about a calendar tool. If it catches their eye, we can book a slot. And this is very direct. Is it likely to work? Probably not, but that's why it's the breakup. Work message again, hope I didn't do something wrong. So there you go. Just so you understand what the campaign is, 
this is what it is. The second one, very briefly, is just focused around low reply rates. And it's about sharing a template that gets the 50 plus meetings per week. And then I share the template anyway. And if I say, if you're working on generating 10 plus meetings per week, perhaps I could share this. Founders use a tool to prospect via email and LinkedIn. By the way, I hope it's useful. So that's the overall structure. Again, if you want me to share this with you, let me know in the comments. I can share it. Super easy. Back over to this. Let's make it very, very easy. We're going to go over here. Saved search. Let's just click on that. And then we'll click on this one here. Then we'll adjust it. Also, what you can do is if you come home, you just click on lead filters. Exactly the same result. Don't know why I didn't do that before. Now, what do we need? So we need to find current company. Doesn't matter. Company headcount. This does matter. I want to target super, super small solopreneurs, founders, small business owners. So we're going to click one to 10. Company type. We're not really bothered at this point. Company headquarters location. We will do. We're going to go with Europe. We're going to go with North America. Because uh, we're not part of Europe now, I'm not sure if it will be included. I'll add the United Kingdom manually as well, just to make sure. Now, current job title, what do we want? We want founders. Simple as that. We've got more than enough. Let's take a look. 670,000 results. More than enough. So you don't need to add CEO and founder, co-founder. Let's just work on founders for the moment. All this other stuff we don't really care. Industry, you may want to add something like if you find a particular industry that you work within, we could go software development. We could try software development for this particular case just to see that it uh, fil filters down even more. Okay, there you go. You've got 29,000 obviously, because we've been more specific. We can try this in this case, actually. Then I'm looking for any final filters that I can use to make it as niche as possible, as targeted as possible. Let's take a look at how we can narrow it down with campaign one. So here with campaign one, what we want is we want people that are sort of active on LinkedIn a little bit, but they're sort of struggling to, to grow on LinkedIn, grow their network, and they're worried a little bit about posting consistency and not knowing how their posts are going to perform. So being interested in the value CTA that we've got here of LinkedIn's 2024 algorithm. So what do we want? We want people that are posted on LinkedIn. They're more likely to be interested in what we're offering here, interested in ultimately our tool and interested in replying to get that. So it's going to increase our positive reply rates and it's going to be the kind of buyer that we want. Let's go over here then. Let's go over here then. How do we do that? All we do is we scroll down to post it on LinkedIn and there you go. We've niched it down to 7,000 people, people that are warmer and more likely to respond to us in this particular campaign. Now comes the magic part. What do we do? Click here. And again, this is just, a, it's insane. I wish I had this when I first started prospecting. But just like that, we've got all of these people up to two and a half thousand per import. We can select campaign number one. We've got the import settings, finding verified emails. We can automatically enrich them all at once in this section. We can use LinkedIn enrichment, but this is the best cascade enrichments. We make sure that we don't import any duplicates. I'm going to leave this for now and do it inside the campaign. I'll show you why in a moment. And then we go back to leads and then we click import these leads. Successful import will start soon. So instead of doing all 7,000, what this will do is two and a half K at the same time. What I'm going to do is I'm going to save this search by clicking that there so that I can come back to it later on. Now, campaign number one, if we go back, we click on lead list instead. And we can see here, if I move my face, I can see here the import will start soon. The date is today and it's import from LinkedIn. So this is waiting essentially to start pushing all of those leads, all of their information into this campaign. And it's a super specific search. Maybe not even super specific, actually. I, I'll accept that. It's not a super, super specific search, super niche. We didn't use all the different filters available, but it's niche enough that we can make copy valuable enough and relevant enough to that particular buyer. And also what we're doing is testing. We're testing out the sequence, seeing if it's relevant, seeing if we can get reply rates of 10, 15, 20, 25%, seeing if we can get positive reply rates of four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10%, that kind of area. The more, the better, obviously, but this is why you test. Next, we need to add some leads to campaign two. Now, what we need in campaign two is we can have a little search. So actually, let's not focus on those that are posted on LinkedIn necessarily. What about founders that have changed jobs recently? Maybe that's interesting. So what we can do is we can see all of the people that have changed their jobs and recently become founders or recently done, done something else or recently joined a new company. Now, why might they be interested in low reply rates? Well, they're likely going to be, or perhaps they're going to be people that are starting a new company, starting to try and get leads for the new company they're working for, having a bit of difficulty. Perhaps that's a really good trigger. Do I know that for sure? No, I don't know. But again, that's where we can start to experiment with the uh, lead filters that we're using and then get the results later on when we have the campaign launched, when we have hundreds, maybe thousands of emails that have been sent and then we can analyze the replies. Let's click on change jobs. Let's make it nice and easy. And then here, obviously, look, we can go lots of different ones. We could even go view your profile recently, but let's not do that. Let's go for this one here. We click on the Chrome extension again. We find the other campaigns of campaign number two this time. Import settings, don't import leads that are already in this campaign. And now I'm going to click don't import leads that are already in your Lemlist team, no matter the campaign at all. So I don't want to import any ones that I've already imported to the other campaign. So I don't want duplicates. Back to leads. And then I click import these leads. Click successful. Import will start soon. Campaign number two, lead list. 
input will start soon. If I go back to campaign number one, here you go. You can check 1,850 leads imported and counting, and that's going to continue to go up. And here you go. Every single person, 1,900 that I had in that list that I filtered down has been added and is being added into this campaign. That is fucking good. <laughs> Like I said, I wish I had this when I first started prospecting. It's an incredible feature. I'm sure there's other tools that do it, but this one here with Lemlist is the smoothest that I've seen. Now we need to do to finish it off. Well, we're going to kind of need the emails of these people. So whilst they're populating, we could go ahead and we could choose a hundred. We could enrich the hundred leads and we could find verified emails just like that. And then we wait maybe a couple of minutes because it's doing a hundred whilst it's also importing. And then we'll be able to launch our campaign. Whilst that's doing that, what we can do is we can come here. And we can see that this is also starting to import from the second campaign. So you can do multiple things at the same time. That's how you import leads at scale. Then we're done with the emails. So there you go. They've enriched. That took a few minutes. What we can do then is we can head over to the review and launch section. We can filter only the deliverable emails. There we go. That means we're not going to send any risky ones or undeliverable ones. And we're going to go to spam and we're going to reduce our deliverability score, blah, 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 blah. Then what is very helpful is that we've got a custom variable missing here. So that's good. What we need to do is we need to add the company uh, to each lead. So that's fine. What we need to change it to is company name instead. Okay, very helpful that Lemlist told us that instead of sending it all out uh, wrong. So company, there you go, look, company name, make sure the custom variable is right. And then that should be good. Just check if any of the other emails have it. No, let's check anywhere in the review section. Do we have any problems? Deliverable only, please. Haha, <laughs> no, we don't. All clean. Now the signature will update automatically, so we don't need to worry about that. We can check. Do the emails look good? Yes, I think we should be ready to go. So once we've set up our settings, we don't need to track opens, we don't need to track clicks, we only need to track replies. We can adjust the schedules to make sure that we're not sending any more than 30 emails per day per email address that we have connected. Within Lemlist, you can connect multiple ones like this. This sequence here, look, we've got seven particular uh, email senders, five plus two. So when we are launching the campaign, we can make sure that we have seven times 30 emails per day, which is 210. So let's just make sure that this number here is nice and high. So we can have up to 210 leads. And let's make it easier. Let's just keep it at 180 leads per day. Save change, click X, review and launch, deliverable emails. And ladies and gentlemen, I think we are ready to go. Just like that then, what we can do, is we can review all of those leads that we found for those 100 leads that we enriched. We can send all the deliverable emails. So we found 64 deliverable emails and then we can hit send just like this. So there you go. We can come into the campaign reports. Look, we can make sure that it's running. We just click run up here. We can scroll down. We're not going to track opens and clicks. We're just going to track the replies and positive reply rates. The reason we do that is because tracking opens and clicks is pretty unreliable and it also decreases our deliverability. So we don't need to do it. Instead, these 64 emails will be sent according to my schedules that you just saw me set. That's it. To summarize, what have we done? We've created a campaign. We've created some lead magnets, three steps. We've then gone on to find the specific search for our ICP. And then more specifically within that, we've used sales navs filters to find people that are posted on LinkedIn, whatever it is. We've got the software industry, whatever you want to streamline it down to. You can then create a list of thousands of different people, import them directly into Lemlist, find their emails, send to the deliverable emails, and then wait for the results. Is this campaign going to get 10,000 responses? Well, no, but we don't need that. We only need... 5, 10, 15% will be an incredible positive reply rate. Can we expect that reasonably from this? Well, it's more likely than a campaign done in a different fashion with leads pulled from somewhere else. That's how you find leads at bulk. That's how you prospect them at bulk. That's how you write a campaign. And that's how you launch it. Any questions, hit me up in the comments. Watch the rest of the videos on this channel. I will reply to every single comment that you leave. So if you have any questions, do reach out. If you've got this far, give it a like as well. And of course, as always, if you want to try out Lemnis for free for yourself, you want to try the Chrome extension, all you need to do is click the link in the description below.